Next, it was supposedly routine. A woman left her work at a Norfolk gas station for a run to the bank, but that's only the beginning of what unfolded at the corner of Azalea Garden and Little Creek Road. Setting your sights, Lauren Compton is here to explain what happened next. Lauren? Tom, when Bulldog got into her car, she says she felt the cold steel of a gun against her head. In those moments, she says she thought she was going to die. Then she thought about her grandchildren, and she says she was determined to walk away from this. I don't care about money. I don't care anything about money. I live my life every day for my grandchildren. Teresa Baldock says the thought of her grandchildren helped her escape what she thought would be her death. I sat there in my car terrorized with a black gun held to my head, thinking it was my last, last breath, and thinking I was going to see blood pouring out any minute. And whether I lived through it. Around 10:30 a.m., Bulldog was taking the weekend deposit from this gas station to the bank. She got into her SUV and felt a gun against her head. I kept saying, "Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me!" And he said, "I'm not going to kill you, sweetheart. All I want is your money." Bulldog says thoughts of all the moments she wouldn't spend with her grandchildren flashed before her eyes. And I wanted to see my grandchildren one more time. So I was always told to never go alone with a robber once he put me in a car. Never to get in, in a car with a robber even if he had a gun. But the robber was already in my car with a gun. So I had no choice but to use my own instinct. And my instinct was to get out of my car and not let him take me to an undisclosed location. Those thoughts of her grandchildren made her push the accelerator, running into the road where her SUV hit this red car, giving her time to escape. Bulldog says she rolled out of her car into the street as a suspect was still reaching for her. And I was just thankful that I got out of his grasp because I think he would have shot me, literally shot me right then and there. And Bulldog says that this is not her first close call. Just a couple years ago, she was working at a gas station where the D.C. snipers actually killed somebody at the store she was working at. But even with all of this, Bulldog says she's been working in this business for 30 years. She doesn't plan on stopping. Tom, back to you. All right. Well, her instinct was correct in this case. Lauren Compton reporting live from Norfolk.